accelerates and I depart stuff. Let's not draw land. At least I haven't been mana flooded. I think his deck is just freaking good. Killer goods. Funny first game, that's for sure. Almost mill myself. Then blasphemous act. Um, I'd like to get in there sooner rather than later, but later will do. I guess we could have counted on getting a 4 drop, but I don't know. Seems sort of silly. I know what my strategy is going to be. Bonds of faith, blah, 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 whatever. Ghost quarter. Yeah, I don't really need the lands, but. Do I want to show the torch? I don't need to, and then I can throw it in response to when he makes. I can do it later. Don't want to show it yet. See if he bonds my dude. Nope. If he makes a thing, interesting. We'll get the face off now. So he could blasphemous act me at some point, and that would be horrible. It would go very well against what I'm trying to do here. I think we just keep making things though, don't we? We do need to do a spell. We kill him in two turns if we just swing and then kill him next turn. Potentially. Is it worth the one extra turn? Because he is pretty mana screwed. I think we're going to try to do it that way. Can't do blasphemous act yet, right? Fuck, we can't. <laughs> I 
Should I throw the torch at him? I was wondering if Blasphemerix was 9 mana. I guess there was only so much I could do against Blasphemous Act in this situation. Um, I don't think I throw the torch at him. That was too bad. I guess the proper play to play around Blasphemous Act would be to not attack, and then to do that in response so I at least have a stupid dude. something. Let me take it this one time, I think. Werewolves, I don't like werewolves. Take another three. Probably just kill this thing because it's going to get annoying. I'll do it to the other one too. Spend my mana up. Could have killed him if I'd played around Blasphemous Act. Ridiculous. This is getting stupid. Could have fucking completely owned him. I played around last this act. Well, now we're in stupid town. I would have killed him the next turn if he didn't have it. Now I'm the one not dying in two turns. Let's draw a land and have this be over with. Well, that's pretty much the same thing. Stupid, stupid. Well, we all learned something today. If you win because they have Blasphemous Act, pay attention because you might lose because they have Blasphemous Act. Oh, I can't even do it. Oh, well, I would be dead if I took it. How to win and lose to Blasphemous Act in one easy step. One easy retarded step. I'm like doing the math. Can he cast it? Can he, can he win? No. There's no way he would win. Can you, would Blasphemous, does that even protect you from Blasphemous Act? The creature comes out, and then the effect happens. So your guy's still dead. Okay, I take it back. I played it correctly. <laughs> uh, there was nothing I could do. I could have had another three life by killing that pig sooner. And that would have bought me marginally more time because the other Silent Departure would have gone on something else, but I think not lacking Dissipate in hand for Blasphemous Act, I think I was dead. Doesn't really make me feel much better. Mm. 
Nope. Makes me sad. Only sadness is here. Only sadness. I have probably have to play another draft so that I don't have to always think of Innistrad as that set where I got the really cool card and then died to Blasphemous Act for my last internet match. We'll see. Thanks for watching.